Hey guys, Jason I'm with a video for you guys today. I wanted to share with you guys my Android setup and this is my Galaxy S7 running a Galaxy S8 ROM and I want it to look exactly like the Galaxy S8 which I'm not going to get right now but I'm using my Galaxy S7 instead and you can see the back right here it's my own version of purple I can say this is my own version of the Oki Grey Galaxy S8 and the black front is here totally black done by using a skin as I had a gold front Galaxy S7 I'll leave a link to these guys down in the description not sponsored not paid but I just love them when I got them so um, as you can see here just on my lock screen nice wallpaper avatar wallpaper I will leave links to everything in this video down in the description now the theme is called elegance UI and as I said everything will be down in the description and you can see here my icon pack is glow UI icons very cool icons good for black AMOLED displays unlocking you can see here this is my setup on Nova launcher and I really like this setup I've been using it on many other videos and if you watch my previous videos you will know this is how I usually set up my phone with my three rows of icons and my dock with three icons still pulling this side you have some quick toggles here this time I've mixed them up a bit since I have already quick toggles up here because on other devices maybe I never had quick toggles to reachable enough my quick toggles are easily reachable up here so I just have some doubles here I'll change this up soon tapping this particular one here reveals all my widgets without me having to have an extra home screen for this and you can see these are my widgets right here and everything is there what I need is all there and if I really don't need them again just tap gone and tapping my home button right there you can see my home button is capacitive I don't need to press it down to actually get feedback and I'm using an app which doesn't drain battery at all and the link is going to be down in the description because though the thing too is it works it's only on xda it's not on google play store right now there's a lightweight app that doesn't drain battery and still makes your home button capacitive now this is my music app actually i'm using right now i really love the app rachel music is a really really nice app and everything here just works so cool and clean very nice and minimalistic and i like it material design full-blown material design app and it's a really nice app if I pinch in my home screen here, it's going to reveal my wallpaper and this is done using an app called Mosaic. Mosaic actually is a wallpaper app that can have so many different sources. I just put my own sources to be my wallpapers I downloaded and this cycles through every single hour. So I can change my wallpapers just like that and my wallpaper is going to change to something else that I have put. And I will leave these guys down in the description, just tell me if you need them. But these are all my wallpapers here, just cycling through the cycles through every single hour. And this is how I can view them and you can see it has that blur which makes my icons just look better on the home screen like they're in the foreground on the wallpaper in the background if I want to see wallpaper clearly double tapping there reveals the wallpaper very clearly and it's going to go back to the blurred state and that is just cool now for every single icon here I'm using custom icons and this is running on Nova launcher so if I long click here you can see it's going to ask me to edit and if I edit I can choose from any icon pack I have installed. So I have a bunch of different icon packs installed and all of these are going to be down in the description as well. I select any icon pack I want and I can choose personally per icon I want. So if that's what I want for game launcher, that's what I'm going to use. But I'm still using another icon from another icon pack. All of these are customized using the same trick just by long pressing like that and then getting to edit and finding the icon just like that. Swiping up reveals search and I can search any app I want on my device because usually getting to the app drawer I think that's a longer process for me getting to apps. I just swipe up search the app I want to search and I'm done This keyboard right here is Google keyboard and the theme still down in the description Everything will be down in the description guys and the theme I'm using here is actually just wallpaper which I resize properly I'll provide the wallpaper you can resize also for your Google keyboard or any other app that supports wallpaper keyboards this right here at the top is a super widget and super widgets are awesome as you guys know them it's just super widget and i have so many other super widgets um, that i use on a regular basis these are some of the best super widget packs and you can get any of these from the play store some of them are free some of them not but most of them on this list are free others come with icon packs 
and also if you have a device with a very huge display and you can't really get to the top or to the bottom for the home button all you can do is just swipe from the side and you have pie navigations how did i get this using an app called simple pie very easy this app lets me have pie navigation buttons on the side of my device i don't use on the bottom because i have a capacity button now here so i just tap and i go home but in case I wanted anything and I couldn't reach down there, very easy, pull in from the side and I have my navigation buttons. Now as for these folders, these are my social media apps I use. I haven't included Snapchat here for some reason, I don't know why, let me include it now and just do that, Snapchat, yep, and boom, there you go. Those are my social media apps and here you can also have um, just utility apps in general, conversion, uh, Google Studio, um, YouTube Studio, I mean YouTube, and other apps that I use in general. You can see down here there's a bar and that bar is in every single app that I get into as you can see it indicates my battery level and this is done with an app called Powerline. Powerline actually helps you get this bar here at the bottom and you can add so many different things not just battery percentage and you can also move it to any side of your screen. So let's say I want to move it to like the top part it's going to appear at the top I want to move it to the left or the right let's say the left it's going to appear at the left right it's going to appear at the right and you can do this for so many different things not just battery options you can search you can put also for like bedtime for it to tell you how close you are to your bedtime you can tell your phone addiction so many different things you can set in here using this app power line great app for this and also i put mine using gradient here so now using this gradient all what's going to happen is it's going to use the gradient instead of just having it in segments as you can see segments ain't that pretty so i'm using gradients instead to give me that cool look and the theme i'm using guys is called eternity ui eternity ui is a very good theme made by a developer called height and sony and he makes actually some of the best themes for samsung phones this is one of the best themes and um, one of my best themes too is also stroke ui still made by height and sony very good themes that he makes high quality themes all of them looking very different and adding some flair to your device which otherwise just looks plain and maybe just out of the box so guys that was it for the video just watch on my android phone and i hope you guys liked it and if you liked it please leave me a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos coming from my channel